Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, back to do my 31 Days of Horror in October, Day 17. Uh, today I watched Carnage Park. Um, Carnage Park is a 2016 movie, which runs approximately 81 minutes. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. Um, it is on Netflix, and I... Didn't really get a chance to watch it, but I also, uh, Hamilton Book sends me a lot of pamphlets for uh, movies and stuff like that. If you guys get a chance, check out Hamilton Book. They have a lot of really good deals for a lot of movies. I've turned some people onto it. Um, this was a incredibly cheap. Um, this, of course, is a Scream Factory release, which is the um, alternate artwork. And, um, like I said, it was really cheap on Hamilton Books, so if you get a chance, um, they have a lot of really good deals. Now, as I said, I've heard a lot of great things about this. Uh, this film was written and directed by Mickey Keating, who was responsible for uh, 2013's Ritual, which is an After Dark film. Now, that film seems to get a lot of hate. I really enjoyed it, um, but... I mean, I guess I can see where people wouldn't like it. He was also responsible for Pod, which I do believe I own and I haven't seen. Uh, Darling, which I've heard incredible things about. That's also on Netflix, I do believe. And Psychopaths, uh, which I haven't seen and I haven't really heard a lot of great things about. Now, Carnage Park stars Ashley Bell. As Vivian Fontaine, uh, Ashley Bell, you'll recognize her immediately if you've seen The Last Exorcism 1 and 2. Um, she was also in The Day, which was a post-apocalyptic movie. Um, I did enjoy that as well. It also stars Pat Healy as Wyatt Moss. Uh, Pat Healy, I think Pat Healy's a really good actor, and I actually didn't even recognize him at first, even though it really looks like him. Maybe it was just the... The acting that he put on. I don't know. But he was in uh, Freaks of Nature, The Innkeepers, which is one of my favorite ghost stories, and Cheap Thrills, which is definitely a high recommendation for me. Really good film. <clears throat> this film also stars Alan Ruck. Most of you will know him from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He played Ferris's buddy, uh, the one that was always sick. And I... My wife and I were, were watching a movie the other day called Fixed. About um, It's a comedy about a guy who gets a vasectomy. Uh, that's kind of the loose plot of it. But he plays the doctor. Uh, he was pretty funny in it. It was pretty good. And it also stars uh, Larry Fessenden, who has a very small part, but effective. Um, he, of course, was in Late Phases, uh, The Mind's Eye. And he was also in Psychopaths. Um, Ashley Bell was in Psychopaths as well. So I'm kind of interested in seeing that now. Now the, the plot. Um, this is a film based on true events. Uh, basically, two men escape from prison and rob a bank. And they end up in the desert running from the police. Uh, one of the men is shot... Uh, from, I guess, the police officers, and he is uh, killed. Now, they end up in the desert, of course, in a big piece of property, which is owned by Wyatt Moss, a former military man who is a nut, a complete nut. As they're in the desert, uh, I believe they get... One of the tires gets shot out of the car. He has a kind of like a hostage in the trunk, the bank robber. And that is Ashley Bell, who plays, of course, Vivian Fontaine. She is the daughter of a prominent citizen in a nearby town. From there, they are stalked, of course, by Wyatt Moss, who owns the, the uh, property. Um, Alan Ruck, of course, plays Sheriff Moss, who is uh, Wyatt Moss's brother. 
and that adds a different type of dynamic to the film. Um, and I'm pretty much going to stop it there. Uh, this film really, really reminded me of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I think if you guys watch it, you'll see what I'm talking about. It just has that sort of feel to it. Uh, the cinematography in this movie I thought was outstanding. Now I do have one gripe. Uh, my one gripe is in the third act. It gets extremely dark and hard to see what's going on. But I do think that that was done on purpose, um, kind of to disorient the viewer. So I kind of get what he was going for with that. It was just kind of hard to see what was happening. But like I said, I think it was meant to be that way. Um, I really enjoyed this film. I was impressed. I was kind of expecting quite a bit because I've heard um, a lot of good things about this film. But um, this is going to get uh, eight and a half Smashed Pumpkins for me. That is eight and a half Smashed Pumpkins. This is a this is a high recommendation for me. It's not a long watch, you know, it's like 81 minutes, um, and it basically doesn't drag at all. So you're basically getting action the entire time. But uh, yeah, this is a high recommendation. I'm really glad I picked this up, and it's in my collection. This, of course, is an IFC Midnight film, which I actually like most of what they do. But um, yeah. Other YouTubers who are who are participating in the 31 Days of Horror in October are You and Your Horror Movies, Last Venom 76, Jen's Reviews from the Grave, Lisa Loves, Dave Maggot. Uh, Rusting Willpower had to call it quits because she wasn't feeling well. Uh, get better soon, Shannon. Uh, Random Horror, The Horror Man, Horror Fan 34, Movie Review Time, Zombie Victim. Uh, Andrew Script is doing 31 Days of Recommendations. Uh, Bronco Juggalo is doing 31 Random Videos, which are really cool. Uh, Retro Horror and Celluloid Terror are doing the 100 Movie Challenge, which is completely awesome. Um, I'm having enough trouble getting through the 31. And Three from the Grave, featuring Lisa Loves, Movie Massacre, and Strange Monkey. Definitely check them out, too. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.